Human metapneumovirus, or HMPV, is a respiratory virus discovered in 2001. It's a relatively new virus compared to others. Recently we've seen a rise in HMPV cases particularly in young children and older adults. HMPV is a common virus that can cause respiratory illness. It's important to understand HMPV and how to protect yourself. In this essay we will discuss the symptoms, prevention and treatment of HMPV. HMPV symptoms are similar to other respiratory illnesses like the common cold or flu. These symptoms can range from mild to severe, depending on the individual's overall health and age. The most common symptom is a cough, which can be dry or produce mucus. This cough can persist for several days and may be accompanied by other respiratory issues. Other common symptoms include fever, runny nose, and sore throat. These symptoms can make it difficult to differentiate HMPV from other viral infections without proper medical testing. In some cases, HMPV can lead to more serious complications. These complications are more likely to occur in young children, the elderly, and individuals with weakened immune systems. These complications can include pneumonia or bronchiolitis. Pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs, which can fill with fluid or pus. Bronchiolitis is an inflammation of the small airways in the lungs. This condition can cause severe breathing difficulties and requires immediate medical attention. If you or your child experience difficulty breathing, seek medical attention immediately. Early intervention can prevent the condition from worsening and ensure proper treatment. HMPV or human metapneumovirus spreads primarily through respiratory droplets. These droplets are released when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or even talks. The tiny droplets can travel through the air and land on surfaces or be inhaled by people nearby. You can become infected by inhaling these droplets, especially if you are in close proximity to the infected person. The virus enters your body through your respiratory tract. HMPV can also spread through contact with contaminated surfaces. When an infected person touches a surface, the virus can linger there for hours. For example, if someone with HMPV touches a surface and then you touch that same surface, you could become infected. This is why it's crucial to be mindful of what you touch in public spaces. The virus can survive on surfaces for several hours, making it easy to spread in places like schools, offices, and public transport. It's important to practice good hygiene to prevent the spread of HMPV. Regularly washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, and cleaning frequently touched surfaces can significantly reduce the risk of infection. Preventing HMPV is similar to preventing other respiratory illnesses. It requires a combination of good hygiene practices and being mindful of your surroundings. One of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of germs is to wash your hands frequently. Make sure to use plenty of soap and water and scrub all parts of your hands thoroughly. Use soap and water and scrub for at least 20 seconds. This duration ensures that most germs are effectively removed from your skin. If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizers with at least 60% alcohol content are effective in killing most germs. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. These are common entry points for viruses and bacteria. This can help prevent the virus from entering your body. Listening to medical professionals and following their advice is crucial. Disinfect frequently touch surfaces regularly. This includes items and areas that are used often and by multiple people. This includes doorknobs, countertops, and phones. Regular disinfection helps to minimize the risk of virus transmission through contact with contaminated surfaces.